I'm Laura Ledbetter and I'm here with Lowell Galling at the gravesite of John Zaremba, a dear friend of ours. I uh, had worked with John for many years at the Andrus Nursing Home in Hastings on Hudson. We are in St. Anthony's Cemetery here in Yonkers. Uncle John's wife was buried here and he wanted to be with her. And I was very close with him and did storytelling with him for many years. And he loved my storytelling and he loved life and he loved people and he loved healing people. And he gave me so much inspiration and healing and magnetism. And today I wanted to be here on his birthday. It was special because I celebrated with him last year for his birthday and many other birthdays. We always had strawberry shortcake. He loved his strawberry shortcake. Want to tell him what the date is, Laura? Yes, his birthday is July 20th. And that's t tomorrow. Tomorrow, and right. I, we can't come here tomorrow because it's the Jewish Shabbat. So we're coming here today on Friday, July 19th to the Catholic Cemetery in Hastings and Shabbat for me will start in a few hours. Thank you, Lil, for coming to be here. Lil knew Uncle John and loved Uncle John and had some visits. And Lil, would you like to tell about your experience? Well, after I met Laura at the Hebrew home in Riverdale where my dad lives, she's a storyteller. She comes once a week uh, to tell stories to him. And we met and decided to start working together to set up a TV show. Laura brought me to meet people who she respects to see uh, what they would think of that. So she brought me to see John Zaremba, who in May 2012 was 107 years old. He had come with his mother from Poland to the United States about 100 years ago when he was se around seven. Right. And uh, one of the stories he told me was, he liked Jewish people. Why? When he and his mom lived in Chicago in some boarding house and they ran out of money, there was a nice Jewish lady who had a grocery store who gave them money. You don't have to return it. And he never forgot that a hundred years later. He was telling me the story last year about that. Laura brought me to meet John twice. and. Uh, John liked to give people blessings where he would put his hands on your forehead, which he would first anoint with oil, then he would give you a blessing. And uh, I had no problem with that. John was Polish Catholic. I'm American, Israeli, Jewish. It didn't bother me at all. And I got blessed twice, having been anointed with oil by John, old enough to be my great-grandfather. And he put his hands on his head and blessed me. And this was done under a photo of uh, Pope John Paul II on the mantelpiece, the, he loved the Pope former John Pope. Paul. And I'll say something about Pope John Paul II. Why is my favorite Pope? One, he was an actor when he was young. Two, he was a boxer. And three, he was a partisan fighting the Nazis. I know from a friend in Rome a story the Vatican doesn't publicize because it doesn't fit with the image of the a Pope as a man of peace. He was saving Jews from Nazis in Poland, and some Nazis were coming to get some Jews. It had been discovered where they were. Uh, John Paul and his friends killed them. That's my kind of Pope. That's my kind of man of peace. And good for him. So to get a blessing from a 107-year-old Polish Catholic, having oil poured over my head and the hands of this old man put on my head, under the watchful eyes of Pope John Paul II, actor, boxer, and freedom fighter, partisan, who saved Jews, that was on the mantelpiece in the Andrus Nursing yes. Home in Hastings, we're in Hastings, yes. was very meaningful to me. That's all I can say. Thank you, Lowell. That was beautiful. And Uncle John, I love you, and it's wonderful to be here to say happy birthday and you always be with us in spirit and you give us your blessing for the Laura and Lowell show. Well, Uncle John, it finally happened. We're, we're getting off the runway and we're about to fly high with it. And in your honor and, and your blessings, 
we will keep on keeping on and I know you would be you're with us and you're looking down and you're smiling and you're giving me that laugh that you that usual laugh and I remember all those talks we had at the harvest on Hudson at our outings um, luncheons and words of wisdom that you've given us and you told me that it would happen and I believed it that it would happen and that's why I am here to be with you and say happy birthday and tell you the good news. Thank you, Uncle John. Thank you for believing in us. And God bless you. And may you be at peace. And I know you are at peace. And you'll always be with us in spirit. Thank you.